Hey guys, I'm Janet and occasion, and today we're carrying on with our Total War Warhammer 3 Meowian campaign. I like the playing Warhammer 3. That's good. It's good. I've played Warhammer 2 for years. It's good. I know, I'm still excited. I'm sure you guys are playing it now, right? I imagine so. Because uh, we're quite late in the old uh, the old episodes here. I'm still on the pre-release build. Currently. You know, this is still pre-release. So, bear that in mind still. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys are playing the game now. So, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you guys are all thinking of the game. You've probably been telling me all about it for the last few days already. But still, I'm intrigued. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what you're doing. So, uh, we're not going to do anything. We want Harmony. We want harmony. We're in harmony. We're going to stay in harmony. Harmony, harmony, bo barman to me. So, uh, yeah. We'll get a couple of uh, Celestial Dragon Guard. So, uh, Meow Yin will be able to actually sort of jump into action soon. But we also need to get rid of that rift down here. Which I may need to get some ranged units down here, honestly. Even just some peasant bowmen, actually. Just some peasant archers would probably swing it down here. I will not so I'm going to do that. One more turn, and Dongmen can close that rift, which should pay for that. Uh, Miao Yin is going to head down can't. here to jump into that gate, and Dragon Blood Chen Duan Mu is going to go down here. Uh, Yong Xuan down there, and uh, Yuran Shan Fu to that one. We should be able to close basically all the rifts very, very quickly. So that's good news. So this one will close. And we will need to fight a bunch of a plague bird, uh, plague birders, plague bearers. Oh, no, cool. Let's mess them up. Ah, it's choke point battle again. I do love these maps. I really do. I also like the fact that it sort of, um, I think, I think it might be guaranteed, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just assuming as much, but it seems to be when you're closing a rift, it's usually a choke point battle. They have to overcome, which I quite like. In fact, I just realised over here, over here, this little arena, that's the first battle we had in the campaign. That's that first battle against the rebels of, of you know, Nanyang or whatever. We are actually in the same region. We are we are fighting outside the mines of uh, Nanyang. Is Nanyang? Either way, we're in the same spot. We just move from over there to over here, which I think is Ready rather fun. That's rather cool. Anyway. Uh, I didn't realise that was the case. God, I love this little shanty town thing going on. It's really stunning areas. Uh, okay. Order Let's stop getting order. sidetracked. So, we have a new unit in this army, which is awesome. We have a Terracotta Sentinel. They are the coolest. They are so cool. Except somehow, I mean, that feels very weighty, which I like. The dust spraying up. But a lot of the time, they don't feel as weighty as I'd like. They feel far too agile, which I guess is part of the terror that they impose. You know, part of the sort of, I don't know, it's kind of their thing. Because again, that feels very weighty. Just in action. I don't know. I'm mixed. I'm mixed about it. But either way, they're, they're horrifying. So the fearless stone giants stand guard against the length and breadth of the Celestial Empire, awaiting their dragon emperor's cool. Well, he's been called now. So, let's get stuck in. So over here, you can see they've got some rot flies, which are very cool. They look amazing. A oh, little nurgling sticking out of its bum. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> a few got nurglings poking out. That's it. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to deal with them. Uh, it looks like they're coming to us, which is pretty handy, I've got to say. Pretty good for us. Pretty good for us. Right, you guys can move up a bit. You guys can move up. You guys can get stuck in here as well. And we do have our Iron Hail Gunners. And we also have Final Transmutation we can drop on these guys. And we have the old uh, Wall of Wind and Fire, which is always a joy. Ooh, and we have the Constellation of the Dragon. We really need to try that out. Like, we really do. That's too cool a thing not to try out. I just get stuck in over here, yeah? Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, come, come mess them up, yeah? Good lad. Yeah, come on. Oh, there we go. So I do want to get some uh, some boys in, don't I? Okay, things look pretty good. He's looking pretty good. Just everything's looking pretty good, honestly. Still can't get over how gorgeous the game is. Okay. 
that'll do its time, okay? We're gonna we're gonna drop. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the spell over here. We're gonna absolutely annihilate all of our own guys. But they're already dead, so I don't really care. I'm also gonna go ahead and use this uh, over here. Oh wow, that was brutal. That was very cool, very cool indeed. Uh, also, let's heal those guys up while we're over there. It's getting a bunch of good hits here. Though those Jade Warriors really took a beating from that one. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, guys. I'd love to use Final Transmutation, but I can't currently use that. Which is a problem. Uh, I am going to put up Miscast Chance with this Herald of Nurgle, though. I think that's always, you know, that's always good. Um, and also, you know what? Oh, do I want to use that? No, I want to use Final Transmutation. Okay, we're going to use Final Transmutation. I want to see how good a spell it is. In Warhammer 2. And does seem to be doing some good work. That's he's not. Sorry, she's not down anything else yet, has she? Hitting a bunch of kills already. 2,000 damage, hitting 3 units. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. You know, I'll take it. I don't know how they got so damaged. Oh, no, no, you can't do that. Alright, I'll send the Terracotta Sentinel to go mess them up. Oh, no. Get up. Get up. Enhance his metallurgy as well. Can you... Oh my god, you are like completely stuck on them, aren't you? Come on, mate. Okay, yeah, get in there with your enhanced metallurgy. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Uh, should probably do something about these guys, huh? I don't really mind if I hit these peasants, but I should move a little bit, huh? It's just good manners. Oh, <laughs> nice. You know what, guys, look, look, I'll heal you up at the same time. Good. Good stuff. So, not that many kills, because everything crumbled before we could set them on fire. Oh well, it's a shame. Speaking of a shame, you know, this fire and the trees, and the fact that this looks like uh, Total War Three Kingdoms, reminded me. In 3K, you could set fire to trees, and the fire would spread, and it was really dramatic and cool. I would love that. I would love that in Total War Warhammer. That would be the coolest thing. Also, it means that if you were fighting in uh, Nagarond, uh, or Nagaroth, I can never remember which one is which, but whatever, the continent. Uh, all those stupid maps that are just nothing but pine trees. You know, the whole thing. Just can't see anything in any of those maps. You can just burn the forest down while cackling. It'd be great. Anyway, let's move on. Excellent. Right, so, let's... Uh, I mean, parting them makes no sense, but I like money. Uh, and, yeah, I don't know, they need to come up with something a bit different here. I feel like pardon captives when you're fighting demons of chaos doesn't make a lot of sense. I might send them in as feedback and see if they could do something about that. Because that just makes no sense to me at all. I don't know what they would do, though. Would it be like, I don't know, you could say, like... I like, harness their power or something, but it's money. Like, where would you get the money from? I really don't know. Uh, allow these warriors to return to their homeland for a ransom. Who's paying the ransom? You see what I mean? It doesn't make a lot of sense. But it is what it is. Uh, also, you're going to head over this way because I want to close this as well. So we are going to lose a lot of money, by the way. Over the Well, we're going to lose a lot of income. We're going to earn quite a bit of money for, for you know, burning all these down. So that's good news. So, uh, Yong Swen, let's get in here. We resume at day. And close the rift. And now it's a Zinch army, which uh, kind of makes sense. You know, this is where Zinch was sort of holding some territory from us before. So it's kind of cool that they've <laughs> they've returned. Uh, do we need to fight another one, though? I kind of do want to see the Grand Cannons firing these guys, though these are not the optimal targets for Grand Cannons because they have such loose formations that we're probably not going to hit any of them. But I still want to do it. Okay, so, you two can line up over here. They look great. They look fantastic. Pulled by oxen. They go nice and quick, though these cannons are gigantic. I say nice and quick, only 30 speed, but at least they can keep up with the infantry, you know. It's pretty cool. I love the lanterns hang off the oxen as well. Really good. Really good stuff. In a way, it makes sense that these should look so much better than, like, you know, the, all the guns and the artillery and stuff from, from previous factions. 
because this is a brand new faction. And it's not just a case of like, oh, let's really show off, but it's because these aren't relying on models that are 30 years old. Because <laughs> that's a big problem that a lot of Warhammer stuff has. Um, a lot of the stuff in Total War Warhammer is based on models that are 30 years old, so they, they can't be this impressive just for like, you know, a cannon, just for an artillery piece to have this level of nonsense going on. You know, so many cannon crews and oxen pulling this big... It, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot to do. You know, it's a lot to buy. It's expensive. So, yeah, it makes sense. They've really gone crazy, really lent into the theme. Although, the theme for the Empire, for instance, is basically just to be sort of, like, late Middle Ages, like, Renaissance Europe. So, I guess it makes sense that they're not overly elaborate, but still. Still. So, they look really cool. I love them. Uh, so, wrought in the sacred form of fire, belching dragon mouths, their flaming cannonballs can topple almost any foe. Hopefully, they can topple the foe that we're about to fight. You say almost any, but hopefully these are the ones that are included. You know. So probably should shoot the screamers out the sky. Let's see. I mean that was pretty cool, but again that loose formation you barely hit any of them. But yeah, hopefully I can get some good damage to those screamers of Zinch. Now we have our terracotta sentinels. I think I'll go straight for their their guy. Straight for their lord. Really good hits on the Screamers of Zinch. And the missiles look incredible as well. They look really good. Which I appreciate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's just keep moving. Just keep moving, guys. It's all going to work out great. Don't you worry. Oh, my word. All right. Let's just get back. <laughs> I thought I'd rather they take the brunt of it than everything else, but... Now I've changed my mind. Now I have changed my mind. And yeah, we always dealt with them, which is good. And okay, that's looking good. Alright, let's charge you guys in. Let's charge you guys in. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Atta boy. Alright, you shoot whatever the hell you like, honestly. Uh, we'll throw a fireball over here. And you guys can head over that way too. There goes that fireball. And you can keep moving up. Uh, I think maybe you just shoot at those blue horrors. Sounds like the best idea to me. And all right, we're almost close enough to actually attack these guys. I want to get a nice shot across these guys. There we go. Oh, and now they're moving. Oh, typical. Typical. Okay, Terracotta Sentinels. Gonna get on top of that lad. Do some great work. Also, we can call in this uh, missile, can't we? We can get the Celestial Intervention bombardment. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Uh, let's just put you in guard mode. I'll tell you to attack them, but we'll probably change our mind in a minute. Come on, guys. What are we playing at? Chase them down. That was wonderful. We lost a lot of peasants. But they're peasants, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hooray! Alright, let's hit these guys as well. Marvellous. And, um... I guess I'll try and hit this guy again. Are you just not hitting him or what? Like, seriously. But like, he's still got shields. He's got two Terracotta Warriors trying to beat him to death. Feels very unusual. Feels very unusual this guy's still totally fine. Let's blast him as well. Yeah, let's blast him. I mean, it's obviously getting very messy. <laughs> Oh, where's our lord? Oh, there she is. He's still gonna blast. Yeah, he's just getting punted about. Oh, hi. Hi, cannons. Hey. You guys having fun? Seems like it. Maybe I'll stop you. I think you've done your bit. So he's crumbling now. He's crumbling. He's learned his lesson. He's learned his lesson. He knows better than to waltz about in our realm. I think we can't blast. We probably can't blast. Oh, we blasted. Oh, good. Good, I'm glad you got your blast in there. Very cool. Very cool indeed. You see what I mean? They seem super agile. But you know what? There is a sense of weight. Like, it is slightly slowed down. It wouldn't quite make sense for someone to be moving that slowly if they were, like, in the front line. You know? Someone would just go... 
and just stabbed them. Just, you know, they'd be doing flips and things, just <laughs> stabbed, dead. So, you know, it makes sense. I guess there's enough weight. I just feel like it's a bit crazy to have something this big swinging a, um, like a glaive around like they're doing. But that's kind of their charm. I also love the fact they glow. That's really nice too. They provide their own lighting. That's a nice feature. And now they're dead. Marvellous. There we go, another rift closed. Uh, lower upkeep for Jade Warriors, that's really good news. I like that. More than a skill, sword mastery is an art that must be practiced to perfection if the foe is to be rendered. Sure is. And the final one, I mean, I'd quite like to get rid of that guy, but I think, um... Uh, I think... Wait, hang on a minute. Oh, there it is. I don't know why I couldn't see it. I was supposed to be down here. No, up here. We're good. Alright, go get it. So there's also one of these closing over here. Which our allies may close, but they may not. So uh, we've fought plenty already, so I'll just uh, skip this one. You know, they're a bit one-sided at this stage anyway. There's not really any need to fight them. Except for sheer fun of it, you know. That, I think, is probably the greatest need in a video game. If you're not doing it for the sheer fun of it, then what the hell is the point? Ooh, immortality. Hell yeah. Cool. It is mine. So, uh, yeah, our, our, that was our first character, wasn't it? Ran Shan Fu, or was that one we got from... Or was she the one that we got from, uh... Confederation? With Po Mei, I think she might have been. Alright, let's level you up as well. We do her spells? I mean, she's got Skyfire leveled a bunch. Yeah, we definitely got her from Confederation, didn't we? Jesus. What are you playing at? <laughs> we don't need that. Okay, let's get uh, unyielding. Okay, we need to make sure that her a gift from just my basic troops are doing the job. The and Dragon tune to level up as well. Oh, immortality for you as well. The Chan Duan Mu. She was the she was our first recruit. Yeah, it was her that was our first recruit. I remember that. Cool. So one more level for you. Uh, okay, we're not going to build anything there. So yeah, one more turn for you to get these guys done. Uh, I'm almost tempted to wait and, and disband some more of these to get more Celestial Dragon Guard. Because we are about to go into hell again. It's just the fact they take two turns to recruit is a bit annoying. Um, and we don't have any more space to recruit. I would have gone into the other um, thingy-majig commandment. But we really needed that corruption gone because it's a bit rough. Ah, uh, it's a problem. It's a problem. So we're going to give you, anyway. I just realised we need to give her a weapon. Because uh, Galelian's soul netter and the chainsaw are both going to disappear. So we're not going to have that net to use on the um, demon prince when we get to the end of the next, so, like, you know, next realm of chaos. And we don't even know what the realm of chaos we're going to is going to be yet. Yeah, we don't have many weapons. Don't have many weapons. Also, there's a bunch of channeling staffs, which aren't bad. They're not bad, but let's fuse them and see if we get something cooler. A more shard. Uh, spell mastery plus 40%. Causes damage to self, though. That's pretty cool, though. That's a nice ability. We re-roll again. Staff of Wuxing. It's a really good one. It's a really good one. Cool. I love that we can do that now. So, let's combine these two. Uh, I mean, these are all kind of trash, so let's just fuse these. Yep, it'll un it'll unequip things, but we got a hell of a discord out of it. That's pretty cool. Is that better than the Quicksilver armor? I mean, I quite like the 20% extra speed, but the hell of a discord is incredibly powerful. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can, uh, can get rid of anything more. I think we'll have to just sort of leave it with what we've got. So, we're going to have to equip just the Fencer's Blades on her, which is pretty disappointing. Oh, actually, we do have the Von Karstein Blade, don't we? We can equip her with the Von Karstein Blade. Uh, so who has that currently? Uh, Ran Chan Fu. Okay. Well, we're going to take that now. So that's going to be much better. And we're going to equip... Well, I do like the speed. I do really like the speed for her. The Helmet Discord is probably more reliable. It'll probably help more of a supporting role. So we'll go with that. And I always forget about the Crystal of Kan Lan, but that really helps us kill a bunch of units, which uh, really helps rack up her kills 
against basic stuff, which helps the chainsword out. It's a shame we're not going to keep the chainsword. It really is. So I activated this strange extra-worldly artifact from the broken lands around the Great Moor. Greatly increases the power of friendly wizard spells. And we got the staff of Wuxing, created by the Jade Dragon uh, Yuan Bo. This enchanted staff has the power to manipulate the elemental winds themselves, causing them to blow stronger or weaker on command. And the Helmet of Discord. The battered Helm of Discord is a bronze helmet covered in withering symbols that both distract and unsettle any attacker. I stand apart. Cool stuff. You do indeed. Okay, next turn then, I suppose. Because, yeah, you're going to go close this behind uh, Miao Yin, who is going to have to make do with the uh, three Celestial Dragon Guard, I reckon. And Shan Yang, we can upgrade. And... Yeah, I suppose that'll do. Actually, Jade Wind Mountain, what have you got? Just an empty slot, we'll just leave that as is. Good. Let's move on. War Fiend. Interesting. What's this, then? Uh, so, a rift. Ooh, oh no. There's rifts going on. This is a bit scary. And what caravan is this? Oh, it's the one with the man-eaters. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, uh, a rift tears through reality and demons disgorge, hungry for mortal souls. They quickly catch the scent of the caravan and give chase. The only escape is to sacrifice some defenders and hope they can fend off the demons while the rest flee. Or, if you wish to retain your honor, stand your ground and face the demons. So we get demon... Oh. That's for all armies. But causes fear when fighting against demons of chaos. Does that mean that... that some demons don't cause fear? Because that's the thing. Enemies are immune to fear if they cause fear. And I, I was under the impression that all demons caused fear, making this pointless. It means we could scare their dogs, and we could scare... Um, I guess they're mortal folk. But, I mean, that's an interesting one. That's super bizarre to get that. But I am tempted to do that. Uh, also, unbreakable for all units of the army. Ugh. Hate unbreakable. So annoying. But, fighting to the death when it's a caravan? Uh, fine, honestly. Let's give it a go. We're going to fight the Hellspawn. I mean, we might just get absolutely wrecked here. Because this is a little bit scary. But, we'll see. Uh, heroic victory. Medium casualties, apparently. I feel like we should fight it, though. Or else it's not really the the grand uh, heroic gesture that we were sort of alluding to by doing this fight in the first place. So, we're going to fight it. Alright. Good stuff. Let's move you back. Um, and take in the scenery. It's gorgeous, obviously. So, this is a Kislev map. This is a Kislev map. But I don't think we're in Kislev. I think we are in the... Uh, land that is the just the other side of the World's Edge Mountains towards the north so still very northerly but not quite in the Chaos Waste. I think that's where we are. Because it said the Tower of Heimkull or something. Uh, so the the snow is very bright. <laughs> it's very bright. Sort of horribly bright in fact. Like This is actually quite uncomfortable to look at. My eyes are not feeling great. Uh, so sorry about that, everybody. Subordinate only to dragons. Remember your training. Trust in the dragons, and victory shall be certain. All right, that's the Gore Beast chariot. So we're gonna go mess up that Gore Beast chariot. Uh, man eaters or man eaters with iron fists. Cool. All right. You go handle them. Defenders of Cathay, Jade warriors. And I think we probably need to shoot at the blood letters with our archers. I imagine. If we can't get hold of them. Uh, do I want the man eater to run in there? Ugh. I might wait. Alright, go, go get him. Keep chasing. Oh, we do have our celestial warriors as well, which is very handy. So, are we in range of our archers yet? Yes, they are. Let's try and summon just in front of them. And I suppose you're just going to fight them now. That's fun. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're keeping them busy. We're keeping them busy. Alright, you're going to chase them that way as well. And you're going to get stuck in there as well. And this didn't work at all. 
Just not even slightly. They just ignored me completely. So, fair enough. Fair enough. Archers, waste of time. Clearly. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Right, go go chase them down. Come on. Come on now. Uh, so we're dealing with them pretty quickly. Ancestral warriors getting absolutely slaughtered by them, honestly. Which is kind of crazy. Kind of nuts how quickly they went down. You need to back up. Before you die horribly. No, no, no that way. Ah. Come on. No, attack the things that are biting at your heels, guys. Come on. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Archers getting... Get into position. Uh, we're also getting horribly brutalized over here. And oh my god, really? Really? Okay, come on. Mess these guys up, alright? Leave these Gorby's chariots dead. They're very annoying. Although, so is everything. Like, everything is. Yeah, we're just getting completely screwed here. They really did have a, uh, just the best army for dealing with the sort of army that we had. Like, really good. Yeah, those, those hounds are definitely coming back. Oh, God, this lighting is just awful. Oh, I hope you guys are watching on something that doesn't have quite the brightness. I mean, that is fine. I'm, I'm literally just rubbing my eyes now. I'm just, I'm just staring over there rubbing my eyes. Oh, okay. Get back to it. God, it's uncomfortable. Uh, you stay over here. All right, man-eaters need to run over here. Oh, my God. God, that's horrific. And those cows will hand us back again. Oh, God, I hope that's fixed before release. I'm just going to stare at this rock, this lovely grey rock. Oh, thank you, lovely grey rock. God, that's so uncomfortable. Ooh. Alright, next time we're fighting down here, okay? Because I can't, I can't really see anything. I can't see what's going on, really. Oh, the Gorby's chariots are back. Uh, you guys are here. Shoot things, I guess. I can't tell what direction they're facing. Okay, I think we got them. <laughs> now, another break. Go hang out in these trees. Oh, you're a bird. Oh. Little tweeting noises. Oh. And some weird miasma. Don't go near the miasma. Miasma's bad. Bad for you. It's full of, um... Like, what is even happening here? I have no idea. Yeah, Miasma, it's full of, uh, full of saturated fats. Alright, we're, we're winning. We just won. But, oh my god. Yeah. I mean, even that, even staring into the sun, is actually far less horrible to look at. That's far less bright. Staring directly into the sun is less bright than, than the, the snow down there, somehow. Which is crazy. It's more Miasma. The good kind of Miasma, though. This is just weather miasma. So, are we done? Almost. There we go. Oh, yeah, I really hope they fix that. Great victory. Alright, jobs are good. Uh, I say jobs are good. We lost a bunch of units. Uh, but this isn't my uh, main caravan. <laughs> so, I'm okay with it. It also got us a trait for everybody, apparently. Uh, Confederation. Who are the Ungol Kindred? I don't even know, but okay. So the Ice Court, just, um, confederated with the Ungol Kindred. Uh, unbreakable, all units in the army. I have seen the void and never faltered. You spent your time running away. Don't be ridiculous. And a Silk Weaver. Uh, this one's fingers move as delicately as worms who make the silk with which they work. Alright then. No retrition. And so what was that other thing? that got us, um, yeah, here, Demon's Bane. So, cause of fear when fighting against Demons of Chaos, all armies. So how does that apply? Does that mean that you have this down here somewhere? I can list it here too? Or do we need to keep that guy alive in order for it to apply? You know? I mean, she causes fear anyway. Because she's dragon-blooded, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't know how that is going to apply. Like, when Shinbar we will see that stat. That's quite peculiar. Um. Hey, okay, now what? 
Not the Great Wall, so creepy, isn't it? Ugh. Horrible. Horrible. Okay, so Miao Yin, you're gonna have to head over here. Uh, can we actually get you there this turn? It looks like we might be able to, in that case. Oh, maybe not. Okay, Tomorrow, maybe not. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, damn. Okay, we need to make up our mind where we're going. So, uh, I would love to go to the Realm of the Sorcerer and get that out of the way. But I did that with Kislev. So, I don't want to just repeat myself um, with those. So, what I might even do... What I might even do is assume you guys are going to watch the Kislev campaign. Which you should, because it's starting the Katarin. And she's a babe. Um, so, what I might do is do two of the survival... Well, two of the realms. And two of the survival battles. Um, I mean, I'll do all the realms, but I'll do the first two that we visit will be different ones. And then after that, we'll auto-resolve the survival battles, because it's a full episode. So for that, because I'm doing the Realm of the Sorcerer first in the other campaign, uh, here I'm going to do, I think, the Land of the Plague Lord is where we're going to go this time. Brilliant. Maybe. Mm, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, weapon returned. Corn claimed back his armaments. The weapon uh, that he claimed for the Blood Gods domain has been returned. And the other one too. The land of the Plague Lord. Be cautious where you step in this putrid domain. Nurgle's realm is a garden of bloated flora and fauna, desperate to spread their infected spores. And at its center lies the mansion of the Plague Lord, the great sagging edifice where Nurgle himself works to concoct his greatest poxes. Guarding the mansion's gates is the gardener, the favored demon prince of Nurgle. Destroy him to claim his soul. I spied the mansion and the women lived within. And I decay. And I wither. Okay, so here we are in the garden. Uh, it's a bit mad. There's a tree that's also an ominite. It's all a bit mental. Uh, but yeah, it should be fun. It should be fun. We need to get to the mansion. But first, we need to uh, gain entry. So, the mansion of the Plague Lord. Stroll through the Garden of Blight to reach the Plague Lord's mansion. Then summon Nurgle's favourite demon prince, the Gardener, to battle. Be wary, for you cannot approach the mansion without immunity. Wading through Nurgle's swamps, walk in Nurgle's realm, and be exposed to pathogens and plagues to which even immortal hosts are not immune. Your army will suffer attrition, so to survive, you must use stances to carefully manage your time here. Tour the gardens. Look for immunity and other gifts, for Nurgle is a generous god. At locations throughout his fetid realm, before you approach the mansion, you must go to an area of the Plague Lord's garden to receive a gift of immunity. Unwelcome visitors, you are not welcome here. Vile Nurglish demon hosts will seek you out, so be ready to fight on putrid battlefields wreathed in storms of magic. And nightmarish domain. The Chaos Realm is no place for mortals, and even demons will struggle in the domains of rival gods. The longer you spend here, the more your mind will be unhinged, and your lords afflicted with chaos traits. However, this can be mitigated on the mortal plane through buildings for the protection chain. Sure can. So visit Argus, the Plague Moon. Yeah, will do. Uh, so we need to go over here to Argus, the Plague Moon, and he's going to give us... Um, the immunity that we seek. Oh, seriously, how cool is this realm? It really is great. So what's really fun is we summoned, we spawned over here and we need to go to the opposite area. But we might get people summoning down, you know, like spawning in down here and having to go over there. Or, you know, here and having to go here. So there'll be a lot of overlap in directions that people are going. So when other people inevitably end up in this realm, we should cross paths with them fairly often. And we can certainly just hang out by the mansion and kill anything that comes near. That's also... Um, that's also doable. So, uh, no being survives approaching the Plague God's manse, the most toxic and diseased place in all existence. Or non-existence, I guess, kind of. Uh, you will need to get immunity before you can reach Nurgle's stronghold. Cool. So, uh, so we can't do anything, and uh, we're already suffering attrition, because of course we are. 
<laughs> of course we are. Uh, so you can go, advisor. Thank you. So, silk weavers. Do we have a silk weaver? We do not. We do not. Probably don't need a tax collector on us, honestly. Probably not. Don't need the Fu Hong monk either, necessarily. Uh, we don't need a jade sculptor because we're not actually recruiting any jade warriors, so... That doesn't matter. So let's get a silk weaver. Just 10% less attrition. It's not going to change, you know, it's not, it's not going to change everything, but it will help a little bit. Presumably. Presumably. Uh, so that'll do. So what's this then? The Great Tree. The Great Tree's tumid boughs spread across the Gale's realm, as do its roots. So too does its roots, but no. Oh, we didn't close that. Oh, hang on. No, because we were recruiting still. That's fine. We weren't supposed to have closed that yet. So. Oh, also, by the way, it does show you which ones you bested, which I like. You can still travel to the ones you bested if you like, I'm pretty sure. But uh, there's no need to do that. So. Actually, I guess there is need to do that. Sometimes you might want to go there to stop somebody else from getting a hold of their souls. You know? So, makes sense. Right, let's uh, armor-piercing weapon damage. I'll put that on one of the cavalry. They should do some good damage now. Although it's not actually registering just yet. That's odd. Usually it lists it out there, but it didn't. We have a lot of buffs on our weapon strength. Like, a lot of that is green. I'm not sure why. But I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, so we're going to fight. Because I want to see the Jade uh, Lancers. Though, is this the best place for them? It might be. It genuinely might be the best situation for the Jade Lancers. We have fought a battle with them before. But just as like it was, they were in the garrison and it was against ogres. And we basically just had them murdered straight away. So this, hopefully we can see them in action a little bit better. And here we are again. So, uh, let's pull you all back. And let's put you forward, actually. Um, but I might try and get in behind them. This could be very satisfying. Be very satisfying indeed. So it looks like they're coming out for us, which is good. Have to be a little bit careful with all the missiles, but if we get them just trapped, like, in here, I think it'd be quite cool. Oh, looks like some of them are trying to move around. <laughs> oh my god, we just got to Nurgle's realm. Like, and I, I'm already, I've already been got. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, he wastes no time, does he? Oh, that's gonna sting. I was never gonna move out of the way in time. Like, as soon as I saw it, it was already too late. Okay, let's have you move past. Jade Lancers! Okay, good. Descendant of dragons. Okay. Now let's summon some more units behind. Let's hit him with an explosion. Explosions are always fun. Gotta love a good explosion. And here it comes. Yeah, there he goes. Good hit. Good hit. Right, let's move you forward a bit. And how are you so spread out like you are? It's very strange. Okay, you do you, I suppose. The Jade Lancers having a whale of a time. They're just running down demons. Just really, I mean, that's that's just right up their wheelhouse. It really is. So we suffer some damage in this front line. That's okay. That's okay. No biggie. And we can we can hit our own ghost. It doesn't matter. Oh, nice. God, I love how they just, like, burst into demon fire when they're taken out. God, the little reflections in the water. Really is amazing. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Absolute massacre. You guys you guys didn't even charge in because we we destroyed the thing that you were supposed to be charging. Oh, that's, that's cheeky. He knows he's about to die, so what does he do? He tries to take us out with him. So creepy. They're like opposable tails. Yeah, he'll be down in a second. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Decisive victory. Okay. So, uh, Venerate. 
Uh, we'll pardon them, even though it makes no sense. Right, and you can head back there. Now, let's see. Oh, we can give her some cool, uh, cool abilities. So, Earth Blood is quite nice, just generally. Uh, fast Protection, I think, is quite cool, though. For holding the front line. I really do like Fast Protection, like Overcast. It's really nice. We can't Overcast it, obviously. Fireballs. Uh, I don't know. They're all pretty good. They're all pretty good ones to have. I am going to go with... Oh, I just think Earth Blood is the most useful. Yeah, because that's that's not with an area, is it? No, it's only area when it's overcast. I was just checking, because I know that was the case. But we're in Warhammer 3 now, and uh, the odd thing may change. So I wanted to check before I missed out. But no, we'll go with Earth Blood. We'll go with Earth Blood. A tool worthy of a dragon. Because having healing spells when, you, when you're relying on sort of cavalry and things, um, you really want to keep these guys safe because they lose um, value very quickly as they start losing models. So keeping them healed up is really useful. Okay. Uh, Nan Lee. Okay, we've got other things we can build. We're not going to, though. Hang on a minute. Did I just queue up? Oh, it's just that. Okay. I panicked for a second. I thought I'd queued up something that would have had uh, consequence to, to, <laughs> to harmony. Is such a reflex, just going, oh yeah, I have a building slot. I'll build something that I know is useful. But god, I just... Yeah, can't get my head around it. I just keep forgetting. And I always forget where we're at, in terms of um, harmony as well, you know? Whenever we've got something building, next turn comes along and I forget what our plan was. Alright, so that should do it. Unassigned skill points. Alvra Caravan Master, our absolute amateur Caravan Master, who apparently is, yeah, his whole army is unbreakable now and all very strange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go unyielding, because if we can make sure that his front line is, you know, actually capable at fighting, I won't have to mind so much about them fighting to the death. We'll be less likely to lose them if they, uh, you know, can actually fight. I'm not going to give him any items though. He doesn't. He doesn't deserve any. Not yet. Nah, you don't deserve any. Get an event where you can get a bunch of Celestial Dragon Guard or something. So you, you don't have such a useless army. Then I'll be happy. Okay. Next turn. God God's Domain has been entered by the Poxmakers of Nurgle. Which is actually a bit annoying, because I think uh, the Poxmakers of Nurgle, they already got... Yeah, they did already get the Nurgle one last time, so... Ideally, what we want is... Oh, the Ice Quarter here, though. Okay, we can stop Katarin from getting um, getting a soul. This this sort of... Uh, this round, I suppose. That's good news. But we also want the Seducers of Sinesh to turn up here, too. We really want everyone who already has a Demon Soul to end up here. So we can prevent them from getting one this round. And then we'll have the advantage. In the next round, we'll be one ahead of everybody. But yeah, Pox makes the Nurgles. They've dodged us. Cheeky little sods. But then, of course, they wouldn't come here because they've already been here. So, anyway, the Poxmakers of Nurgle have managed to skirt the Maelstrom using their own machinations and enter Korn's realm, seeking a Demon Prince's soul, thus getting them closer to the Forge and the Dying God. And the Ice Court has also entered the uh, Land of the Plague Lord, which we can hopefully deal with. Where are they? There they are. Brilliant. We should absolutely bump into them. So, circumventing the Maelstrom, the Ice Court has crossed reality to enter Nurgle's realm. If they are allowed to reap the Demon Prince's soul within it, then they have a better chance of claiming the Dying God before you. And, uh, faction got destroyed. And, oh wow, the Larvian Sisterhood got destroyed. Wandering dead. Uh, caravan completed. That's good news. That's good news. We can send our better caravan now. She walks among us. An old woman, garbed in peasant robes, beckons you over with a gnarled finger, never breaking eye contact. She presses something into your hands, then bows and walks away. You make, you make to discard the surely worthless trinket, then notice a silver moon inscribed upon it. The mark of the Empress. I I love how, because it's, um, it, this really just shows a lot. So, one, the Moon Empress walks among people and gives out boons to, to the public and, and to you. But also, uh, you just regard just old women in peasant robes to be such worthless individuals that you instinctively throw away anything they try and give you. You know, it's just, it, it just shows how horrible, <laughs> like, the, like that's such a horrible, like, class structure there is, um, that there's such disdain for the poor when they are the poor in the place that you run. So you've already been the one who has 
has made them poor in the first place, essentially. But uh, the usual the usual excuse of that is that, you know, it it's their own fault. Or that they deserve to be there. It's one or the other, and it's usually, like, neither are good excuses. So, anyway, Scroll of Blast. This scroll has a bound spell that, when read, will unleash a sharp blast of arcane light. I'm sure it will. Uh, so we're going to want to fight through these guys. They have quite big armies, mind you. It's going to be a little bit more challenging than uh, when we were in Korn's realm. Much bigger armies now. That's the thing. The further you get into the game, the more, the more like, rift opening events occur, the more dangerous the things within each realm are going to be, um, as they expect you coming. So, a little scary. But anyway, we're going to go fight uh, Toxfarta, Decayer of Worlds. Fantastic. Uh, so it will be fairly easy. Still a lot of Nurglings, which are very easy to kill. And, you know, Furies aren't the best, but there are a bunch of Pock Riders. You know, Rot Flies, Plague Bearers, Exalted Plague Bearers, and Forsaken. You know, a Great Unclean one as well. Beast of Nurgle. Like, there's some good stuff here. To say that these are just going to be, like, armies like this are just going to be roaming around, attacking you on the regular. It's a little bit intimidating. Uh, speaking of intimidating, let's intimidate with this leadership buff slash debuff. Sounds good. Brilliant. Yeah, this is looking good. So guys, uh, we're going to end the episode here, though. We're going to fight this next episode. So if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, affiliate link still in the description. It still helps me out. Okay? If you're thinking of, thinking of picking up the game or any of the Total War, uh, you know, any Warhammer 2 or Warhammer 2 DLC, you know? Uh, uh, think about it. Anyway, see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.